Ribeye Special. One of my favorite bikes. One of the most road devouring motorcycles we make has taken a turn to the dark side. All blacked out. From the tip of the forks all the way back to the tip of the exhaust. Two into one into two exhaust, by the way. It's all blacked out. Look at it. Beautiful. Milwaukee 114. Biggest motor that we put in a standard motorcycle ever. 114 cubic inches. That's like 1868 cc's, I believe. Back in the day, people used to have this belief that a road glide wasn't as safe as some of the other bikes we make. They said the short nose bearing versus the bad wing bearing. That was so much better because this was like when you're going down the road, you know, and you go to turn and you turn and the, the, the lights stay here and you're headed this way because you're going out. And I've heard this, I've literally heard this my whole career. And I always point out to them, I say, if you ever go down the road at 70 miles an hour and you turn your handlebars like this, you're not gonna be here to tell me about it because you're gonna go right over it and you're gonna face plant yourself into the pavement or a signpost or a tree or whatever's out there. No, you don't. Think about that. You counter steer around a corner, right? 70 miles an hour, you counter steer. Everything follows right through it. It's a total myth. It always has been. And people are starting to push that behind them now. The fact is people are starting to realize that that fixed bearing, meaning the bearing is mounted to the frame, it's a little more aerodynamic. It cuts through. When crosswinds come across, it doesn't shake. If you've ever seen any of the uh, wind tunnel testing, Harley used to have this on their site. You could see the moisturized air when it comes through, the lines were smooth. Whereas with a street glide or with an electric glide that has the uh, Batwing fairing, which is a great bike too, I'm not putting it down. When it comes in there, it would be like this. But yet this is nice and smooth, comes right over. You know, I mean, I'm gonna talk about some other stuff with the motorcycle first, but I wanted to get that out of the way before we start talking about you know, uh, statistics and, and wing angles and things like that. I want to show you a little bit more about what I'm talking about with the short nose fairing versus the bat wing fairing. So come on up here. Look at that. That's why they call it a short nose fairing. You know, you, you almost think you should be hearing the theme to Jaws as you're looking at this. Now here's where, all right, let's say you're in Arizona. I used to live in Arizona, I used to work in Arizona. You can be going down through there and you come to some of these canyons where you know the, tr the mountains split and you can get some crosswinds coming over there, 50, 60 miles an hour winds blowing boom or knots as we used to call it in the Navy. But watch this, you get that, this thing doesn't move. Like you can't, it's fixed into the, into the frame. That's the reason it doesn't move around. Let me demonstrate a little bit more. Let me come on over here a little bit. I wanna show you something else. This is Street Glide with the Batwing Fairing. Also one of my favorite bikes too. I mean, I don't really have a, an unfavorite bike. I like them all, but I gotta show you this. Now, you remember I was talking about, you know, if say you're in Arizona and you're coming across there and you get that crosswind, this could even be a big truck passing you on the interstate or you passing them and you know, you get that blast. You saw how that stayed? Now watch this. That same wind's coming across. Hmm? See what I'm saying? back there we go just to recap fixed fairing no movement in the side breezes or winds or whatever I'm not saying that that bike over there or the street glides or any of them are not safe because of course they are it's just different this is mounted it's 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 uh, anchored to the frame of the bike so it just doesn't move that much okay enough of that I'll stop talking about that now that we're up front here let me show you some of the other features first of all Look at these dual LED headlights. Yeah, plenty of visibility and there's a horizontal lights too, so they cast that out there like that. Got a flasher there too, if you're trying to get somebody's attention, you gotta, mm -hmm. Stereo system, you can hear that, but we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Um, also, the front forks, you can see they're all nice and blacked out. They're called double bending valve forks. They got two springs in them. One spring, when you hit a bump, it, it contracts the other one expands to level out the ride quicker abs brakes 
ABS brakes, they're link brakes, front and rear. They'll apply just the amount of right amount of pressure when you hit either front or rear to slow the bike down, whatever you need at that time. Come around here and look at these wheels. Yeah, look at these. These are called blacked out talon rims. And you can see that the spokes, they come, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but they come all the way to the very edge of the rim. I already pointed out that it's ABS brakes, but they also, these are two piece rotors. Some of the bikes have single rotors. We don't have that many of them anymore, but a single rotor, if you were to hit a bump right, it could warp, that causes you some issues. But this two piece, some call it floating rotors, it's like a little shock absorber inside there. See the little round washer like? You hit a bump too hard and that will expand or will uh, actually eliminate it, sort of like a shock absorber. That's a, that's a great feature, great feature. Now, let's move on back here. That's it, the 114 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 motor. That's 1,868 cc's. It's 122 foot-pounds of torque at 3,000 RPMs. Somebody asked me the other day, why do we don't talk about horsepower? We used to on the V-Rod because it was like 125 horsepower. But torque's what gets you there. Torque's what goes stoplight to stoplight, what's passing, what's up mountains. It's, it's torque is what is, but low end torque. 122 foot-pounds of torque at 3,000 RPMs. As long as we're here, look at the footboards, custom made, or custom look rather, and they're, they flip up. We'll talk about lean angles in a minute. Flip up in case you go a little bit too much, pop, they're gonna pop up so they doesn't hurt anything. Big oversized brake pedal. Um, the exhaust system is coming out two into one into two. I'll show you that here in just a second also. Uh, look at this. When this Milwaukee 8 motor was designed, the word was used, we wanted it to kind of resemble the old pan head of the, you know, the classic pan head from what, 50 years ago. And they wanted it to look like it was spilling out of the frame. And it does, and it's all blacked out. Except for that little chrome strip there, I kinda like that. Um, let's move on back. Stretch saddlebags. They're long and they're tapered, and they got a lot of nice space. I mean, it's a touring bike. You wanna be able to carry things with you. You got a lot of travel space in here. You can lock it up right here, so when you're in your hotel room or your campsite or you're out walking through the Grand Canyon or whatever, easy open. You remember the old ones where you back and forth, like, no, not anymore. Just like that. One finger. Outstanding. Oh, by the way, this color is called Wicked Red Denim. Wicked Red Denim. Like that. Let's look at the back. Tail light, brake light, blinker light, emergency flashers. All in just these two. Let me demonstrate that. Tail light. Brake light. Blinker light. Emergency flashers, all there together. Now here in just a second, you're gonna see the security system deactivating itself. Oh, look at that license plate tag. I like that too. Just, I mean, it's just, it's simple, but it flows in with everything else. All right, let's go around the other side. This is a nice view. I kind of raised you up a little bit here. Six gallon fuel tank. Bike gets about 40 something miles per gallon when you're out on the out on the highway. Let's combine around 40 miles per gallon. Easy open. These used to be locked, but they were never actually keyed to the bike. So they said, hey, let's go with the push button. If you want to put a key on it or a locking on it, you can do that. Nobody's got steel gas for Harley Davidson rider, right? All right, look at the nice view here. There's your switch. Auxiliary. When you're not on the bike, you push it all the way over, lock, push it down, it locks your forks and your ignition at the same time. And of course, the same key opens up your, or locks and opens your saddlebags too. Everything is at your fingertips. No buttons up here while you're riding. Harley wanted to do away with that. They don't want you to ever have to take your hands off the handlebars again going down the road. So everything is right here. You got a joystick on each side. One over here for going from station to station or track to track. One over here for volume and adjusting the treble and the bass and everything. Right here, cruise control, you push the button in here. There's a little button right here. Push it in, set it, hit the brakes, go back to resume. It's all right here, you never have to take your hands off. Put that cruise control on though, you can relax your hand a little bit. If you've got tendonitis in your thumbs like I do, makes it very comfortable for you. 
Um, I'm gonna take you over the other side now. I wanna take you over there on that side because I want you to be able to look at it from a different angle. Show you this right here too, by the way. That's a little storage compartment in there. It's also got a USB port in there. You can plug it in and also we do updates on these things. So sometimes you come in and we'll do that. Got another one over here. Oh, well, now you're over here, but this is a, um, used to be a cigarette lighter there back when people used to smoke. Now it's just an outlet for you to plug a uh, adapter in for charging your phone or, or whatever. But here's what I wanted to show you. This bike has always had an attractive feature that I thought it was in the fact it's not jammed up in you. It's spread out. And what I mean by that, and I'm gonna to have to go back over there again because I wanna show you something. That from the gas cap to the stereo system, it's that far. See that? It's that far. Let me take you back over here for a second. Street Glide again. I'm not picking on Street Glide. I swear I'm not picking on Street Glides. I'm only demonstrating. Remember over there? That far from the stereo to the gas cap? Look here. Here's your stereo screen, here's your gas cap. That far. Now you can analyze that any way you want to. That far from that far away from it. That's why the Road Glide's always been kind of popular with tall guys and tall girls because they just, they don't feel like it's so crammed up in there to them. It's just laid out a little bit more. And now let's expand on that and go back over here. I kind of wanted you to have a little bit of a bird's eye view of this, like just so you could see what I'm talking about, how everything's sort of laid out here in front of you. You're sitting back here, the handlebars are high, they come back, they're at the perfect angle for your elbows, your arms, there's no tension in your shoulders, it's like when you're driving your car, you're right here. This is here, just perfect. Like I said, you can set the cruise control over here, relax your hand, you got a hydraulic clutch, so it's a nice, easy pull. We're gonna turn the switch on. Your gauge is here, your gauge is here. This is your voltmeter, this is your uh, gas gauge. Volume control is over here. When this comes up, all it's doing is telling you, please look down here, don't look at this while you're riding. Get this out of the way. If you hit that, it goes away. Now here's your volume. What do you want? You want country, you want rock and roll classic, whatever you want, it's all in here. You can preset, I don't know how many stations, but plus you Bluetooth it. I always play my own music through my Bluetooth system. So there you have it. That's the Road Glide Special. It's 96 inches long, got a 26 inch seat height, 26 degree rake. Weighs about 855 pounds, full of gas. It's got a 31 degree lean angle to the left, 32 to the right. You owe it yourself to come in and take a test ride. You got my personal invitation to come in and take a test ride. I'm Billy Sample. Ask for me or any one of the sales reps here, we'll take care of you, we'll fix you up for a ride. The weather's gonna clear up here pretty soon. We're open seven days a week. We're sailing Harley Davidson in the corner of, on the corner of Fisher Road and Silverton Road right here in the capital city of Oregon, Salem. I'll see you soon.